that is to you. Money green. You got the step up. Happy Friday! As you can see, we going to the gym, whole outfit, courtesy of Halara. Yeah, I did not get to go yesterday, just, it stormed all day yesterday. I was literally in bed the entire day. From the time I woke up at 7.45 in the morning, then I took a little midday nap for about 45 minutes to an hour around two o'clock. And then it was time to take Ashton to practice for six. I was in the bed, okay? I, it was a lazy bum day yesterday. I didn't do nothing, but um, we back at it today. I'm about to go to the gym. Um, it is Friday, so welcome to the weekend. Welcome to the weekend vlog. We have a lot to do. I've been telling you guys, it is Jennifer's birthday month, Big Aries. Y'all go tell her happy birthday. By the time you see this vlog, ooh, her birthday is Monday. So yeah, y'all y'all probably y'all probably want. It's a possibility though, but I don't think y'all will. Anyways, her birthday is uh, Monday. So y'all just go ahead and tell tell my best friend happy birthday, Big 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 Aries. She said that she's twenty one again this year. I say embrace your age, baby. Like, that's why I tell you guys all the time, embrace your age. I'm big 42. Don't look a day over 32, okay? If I must say so myself. I got 26 the other day. I was like, 26? I was in the mall. It was the day I looked like, well, where's Waldo? If y'all remember from my last vlog or two vlogs ago when I wore that red and white striped shirt and the black. Yeah, I got 26. Maybe she was trying to be sweet. I don't know, but she was like, 26? She was like, you can't be over 26. And I'm like, I'm 42. She was like, girl, shut up. She was like, what are you, like 28, 29? I'm like, I'm 42. I'm 42. And I'm living my best years of my life. Like, well, what did Beyonce say in Renaissance? Her 40s are her, her transformation years, her big, like, just, these are her best years and I feel it. Like they are. Like I've, I feel like I look better at 42 than I did at 22. I have way more money. I'm way happier. My kids are ha like, it's just, you have your happiness and your health and your mental state. And it's just like, anyways, we're not gonna keep going on and on, on and on about this. But ladies, don't be scared to age. In the media, men sometimes, they try to, put age against you some women some women even be like oh she old she old when I when I was 30 I was called old okay it's at 28 I started uh getting told you look good for your age at 28 okay so ladies don't let age defy you I, I get greater later fine as wine okay anyway we're about to go to the gym get this body right um Ashton wants to be picked up early from school. And I'm like, okay, girl, whatever. It's your world. You can be picked up early from school. She said that she already finished her project in um, sixth period. And the seventh period is an elective. So let's go. Let's get our Friday started. 90 degrees today, y'all. 90. It is hot as hell. I had me a good workout, but walking out of the gym was walking into a fucking sauna. So I just left from um, Specs. I bought a bunch of mini bottles. Tonight's festivity is karaoke. Oh, get out of here. Karaoke. You could bring food, but you can't bring liquor because they have a bar. So I bought mini bottles because we gonna put a few down my bosom. We might put a few down my socks. I don't know what I'm wearing. I don't know if I'm wearing sneakers. Well, I do know what I'm wearing because 
y'all would have seen in the other vlog me putting that clothing rack together and I did pick out clothes for the weekend. So, I do. I'm not wearing socks. So, I'm going to put a few down my bosom. <gasps> but I don't think I'm wearing a bra tonight. Oh my God, what am I going to do? Oh, I don't think I'm wearing a bra. We going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out because they do check um, bags. So I can't just put it in my purse. Dang it! So y'all, for the past week, week and a half, I keep seeing black crows. And the reason why it's odd to me is because I don't see crows. Like, in my life, like, I can probably count on one hand how many times I've seen a black crow. But I have seen one every single day for the past, I wanna say week, week and a half. There was one that was caught on my camera in my backyard every single day walking in the same spot. And it's so weird, cause the way my cameras are positioned that it would walk through this same spot every single day for four days straight. Then when I was coming home one day, I guess it was that same black crow, I see it sitting on my fence. So after day six, I'm like, okay, what does this mean when you see a black crow? And I'm not superstitious by any means, like not at all. I put my purse on the ground my whole life and I have an abundance of money. Like I've never lost money before. Like I done stepped on a crack and I ain't never broke my mama back. Um, I done broke mirrors before and I ain't never had seven years bad luck. So I just, black cats, I didn't broke the pole when I'm walking with somebody. I just, I'm not superstitious at all. I don't believe in that shit. But I did think it was weird always seeing a black crow. So I looked it up. I Googled what does it mean when you see a black crow? And everybody says something different. Some people say it's good luck. Some people say it's bad luck. Some people say if you see two crows, it's really good luck. So I don't know. I just found it weird i just saw one uh just a second ago that's that's what made me pick the camera back up and ask y'all like what is it what, what what does it mean when you see a black crow now i did see a was it what is it a red bird what are the red birds called a sparrow no cardinal i think a cardinal is a red bird if i'm not mistaken but anyway um I saw one at my window a few years ago and someone told me that was like that means you have a um someone who has passed on that was visiting you so I liked that one because I was like oh that was my mom coming to visit me but all the negative ones I don't like those I don't believe in that shit okay <laughs> how you gonna tell me hurry up the door wasn't even unlocked you know what I mean hurry up it wasn't unlocked. Do you want to go back to school? No, no, no. Do you want to go back? Because I'll send you back up in there. Nope. She called me, said she don't want to be at school. Yeah, I don't want to be Because she ain't having nothing to do for her last two periods. So I picked her up and she get in the car. Yeah, I'm done. I'm hollering. Because it's hot. It is hot. I told y'all it's hot. It's burning up. Let's go to Yonuts. We are not going to Yonuts. Where are we going? Uh, first of all, we have a grocery order I need to pick up. That's one. Maybe we'll go to Dunkin' because I need some. I want some matcha. I've been wanting matcha for the past few days. I'm not doing Starbucks. We're, we're banning Starbucks. Why well, I tell you in New York why we ban Starbucks? No. Y'all, I got my matcha. I should have got a... This is a medium. Look up. It's big. I should have got a small. It's okay. It's not that great. But that's what you get when you buy coffee from a donut shop and not a coffee shop. <laughs> this is not a donut shop. Dunkin? Dunkin Donuts? No. It's a donut shop. Not a coffee shop. Like, Starbucks is a coffee shop that sells pastries. This is a donut shop that just sells drinks. So they don't specialize in drinks. I mean, it's not bad. I just shouldn't have gotten a medium. I should have got a small. But I got it made with almond milk and sugar-free vanilla. It's all right. Y'all just filmed a sponsorship in here. And y'all know I normally don't do that. 
feel good actually working in my beauty room. I should have brought my suitcase up here so I could unpack. But yeah, my beauty room is like meant for me to film stuff in here. And I just don't. I just vlog in here. But yeah, I just filmed. I might bring this one downstairs. This one's a lot more narrow. Does it adjust in height? It does. Yeah, this one does adjust in height. I don't know. We'll see. This one would make more sense in my closet. I don't know. Lord. Let me close these blinds. Before my neighbor's gonna be all up in my business. Okay, what time is it? What time is it? It's 6 07. I need to shower and start getting ready because in the middle of me getting ready, I'm gonna have to leave me Ashton. Meet the kid's dad to drop Ashton off and then come back and put my clothes on. Well, iron, put my clothes on. Yeah, I need to like start the process now. I think I'm about to change this wig. I think I want to do some color, either blonde or red. I'm thinking red though. I would just hate to put a red wig on and then the outfit that I have in my head, how it's going to look, it doesn't look right. And then I'm stuck with a red wig on my head. And you know when you wear red hair, your outfit gotta go. You like you can't wear red hair with like a pink outfit. It's not gonna look right. Or red hair with I don't know. Anyways, I just I wanted to all flow and be cohesive. So let's see. Let's go downstairs and play. I'm back with a new wig on. I told you guys I was doing red today because of the outfit that I'm wearing. I am in a rush because I have to go drop Ashton off. I'm frustrated about it, okay? But it's all right. I ain't gonna complain. I'm gonna make this little ugly face, but I ain't gonna complain about it. I'm, I'm just, I'm gonna do it, okay? Anyways, this is the outfit. It's from Zara. It's a green jumpsuit. Green wide leg jumpsuit. I only ironed the bottom. I didn't iron the top because I'm thinking it's gonna be tight enough in this area where I don't need to. But this is the item. It's open back, has a zipper in the back. Yeah. Then this is the bag that I'm wearing with it. And then gold jewelry. Okay, this is the jumpsuit. I forgot how big it was in the waist. Uh, so, I mean, I really could get it taken in, but we wearing it today. I'll get it tailored. Dang it. Just a little tack here and a little tack here will make a big difference. <sighs> now it's like I feel like I need to iron this middle part right here. I, I hit it with the iron. It ain't perfect, but it'll do. Um, perfume. We're doing YSL. I believe it's Lieb. Everybody's been calling it Libre, but I think it's pronounced Lieb. Don't give me the line, though. Okay, when I got out the shower, this is what I had sprayed myself with, sprayed my skin with before I got dressed is Sahara Oud. And I mix it with the YSL to give a nice fragrance. Okay, I will take this off later. This is the jewelry, nothing major. We're just doing karaoke tonight, but I still want to look cute for pictures, video. Y'all know, you know the vibe. Yeah, so I pulled to the back of a um a business that's closed right now. And I'm about to try to take some pictures. <gasps> this is so dangerous. There's a car coming. <clears throat> this is so dangerous. That's why I know the girls who um take their own pictures, they usually take them like in the same area every time because they know it's safe. Me, this is just a closed shopping center that's close to the karaoke place. Like behind, like where the dumpsters are. So why would that car just drive by? Let me hurry up before security comes or something. Let me take a little shot to calm my nerves down and hopefully get a really good picture in less than five minutes. Mm. 
Wish I had a chaser. Wish I had a chaser. Hey y'all, this is where we're going. Spotlight karaoke. I have liquor under my bosom. Let's see if it doesn't roll out and down these big ass wide pants. <laughs> I've already been through security. Let's see if they check me again. Can you check me again? I got that, you know. I'm just kidding. Oh, let's mess with you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, pat me down. You don't have any names in your phone? You can just throw some names out there, vodka stuff. Oh, no. uh, uh, vodka. You can just throw some names martinis, out there. Martinis, vodka, like soda. Maybe so y'all don't have like pineapple. signature cocktail? Okay, so yeah, just... we do, but nothing with vodka really. Really? Yeah, we have oh. a lot of different cocktails, but nothing. Yeah, They're more cool. Malibu based. Malibu. Okay, Portia would like yeah. that. Portia would love Malibu. Look at the yes. menu though. We have a lot of good options. Okay. Yeah. Well. Everybody just, else. You know what? Just just give me a vodka and pineapple. I just want vodka and pineapple. Vodka pineapple? Okay. What kind of vodka? She said ain't no uh, vodka on her. And she wants drinks. Christina. Yes, ma'am. Sweet dreams. Sure. Fruity and sweet, okay? Yeah. 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 Like Y'all have a lot of vodka options, actually. Mai Tai, Hurricane. I want a uh, mango martini. Yes. Fruity and sweet, okay? Martini. Delicious. It's, it's good. It's sweet though. Not You just ordered a wet drink. I want a mango martini. Clean. Oh my God! This is all. Around the shots for the woman. Uh, I'm not sure, but he sounds oh, good. Oh, Lord. You see, Tori needs to be taking it. Hey, Hey, Thank you. Oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, hey, oh, Thank you. Well, I did right. it just for the green. <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Are we cheersing? I was like, all right, I can't see 
Are we doing an up to a down to? We cheers on? What is we doing? Okay. She got the smile. Spotlight. Okay, we doing up to it. Down to it. Oh, she, this is big. Yeah, she went over the line. Look at how yours is over the line. This is like a drink. I got Christina showing up with her love. Look, you want to play? Not drink, but I'm gonna drink. How you don't drink what you know the motherfucking sound? Yeah, she wants this off. Look, tasty. Today, I'm just changing out my um my plugins. These are the two new packs that I got. This one is the limited edition variety pack. I guess this is like the summer edition. Sweet watermelon, summer berry, Georgia peach orchard, and then this this says limited edition too. I didn't know this was limited. It says Southern Lilac mornings. So I just put this one in my bedroom and then I'm about to put these uh, by the front door. Well, I need to check the ones by the front door to make sure they actually need it. And then of course, my uh, wallflowers too. Y'all, last night was so fun. Karaoke is so fun. I'm so glad we did that. That was just something fun, different. What, this don't even have a smell. Fresh rainfall. This gotta go in a really small space. Dang it. Cause this don't smell like nothing. Y'all don't get fresh rainfall from uh. Dang it. I, I can't smell nothing. I'm gonna have to take the one out my guest bathroom and switch it. Cause that's a small bathroom. So this would work in there. Anyways, uh, as I was saying, last night was so fun doing karaoke um just hanging with everybody just it was just it was fun it was fun uh tonight's dinner at this restaurant called friends uh y'all have seen it before on my vlog me jennifer and tanya ate there probably about like i want to say like two months ago maybe yeah so jennifer got a private room there and that one still smells good Child. Okay, I need another. Child. Oh, this smells terrible, and I am so mad. Y'all saw me buy this last week from Ross. Was it? Yes, Ross. It smells okay when you open it, 
It's when it burns, y'all. It smells like a Cabbage Patch doll. And I'm not trying to be funny. Anybody who had Cabbage Patch dolls and the old school Barbies growing up, they had a smell to them. They had a smell. It was supposed to be like a fresh baby smell, but it smelled like fresh baby and plastic and chemicals mixed together. That's what this smells like. This smells like a Cabbage Patch doll from the 80s. And I don't like it. I'm going to throw it away. Really, like, can I take it back? I only burned it for an hour. I'm not going to do that. I ain't going to take it back. Ugh. Every time I walked out my room, I'm like, I, I don't like that smell. I don't like that smell. So I closed it up and the smell stayed in my house for like three more hours. And I'm just like, I don't want it to smell like a doll. Anyways. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a no. So you do risk, even though you're saving a lot of money by buying candles at like Dee Dee's and Ross and all these cheaper stores, home goods, whatever. You might, you might waste your money, even though it's $9, $9 is $9. That's gas. Okay. That's like three gallons of gas in Houston. Cause I know some of y'all probably live in like New York, LA in Houston. Yeah. That's like. But that's like three gallons of gas. So, uh, I am debating, should I go to the gym right now? Should I just make something to eat and get some editing done? It's later in the day. Me and Jennifer have been on the phone for like the past two hours. <laughs> First of all, I made it home at 2 a.m. I went to sleep at 3 a.m. And I didn't wake up till noon. Yeah, y'all know I don't like sleeping that late, but I, yeah, I woke up at noon because I went to bed at 3. And then Jennifer called me at 12.30, and we've been on the phone ever since. And now it's, child, it's after 2 o'clock. Her dinner's at 7.30, which is about a good 30 minutes away from me, so I would need to leave my house by 7. But I want to get pictures before. So I'm going to leave my house. I really need to leave my house at 6.30. So I can give myself, you know, 15, 20 minutes to take pic to look for a location and then take pictures. Which means if I leave the house at 6.30, y'all, I'm just doing math in my head, okay? If I leave the house at 6.30, I would need to start getting ready by 5 because I need an hour and a half to get ready. But this wig is already on. I just need to fix it and I'm flat ironing so my hair's not going to take long. It's my makeup, making sure my outfit looks right, even though I have two outfit potentials because... We planned in advance. If y'all watched my last vlog, we planned in advance. But, uh, where was I at with my numbers? Okay, so I said I would need to start getting ready by five. Just to have enough time. So I'd leave by 6.30. Take pictures. By the restaurant around seven. I think I told you guys. Did I tell you guys? I was trying to hire a photographer for her dinner why i just let me complain real quick okay i've never been a, a a business owner that provided a service so i don't know how hard and hectic it is but when i start messaging you days in advance asking questions first of all i emailed you about at this point seven days ago about seven days ago no response to the email so two days after that I DM the person and like, okay, yeah, I can do that. Okay, well, cool. What can I get a quote? He goes completely past the quote part. Yeah. So what's your location? Where, what time and this and that? I'm like, oh, okay, well, this is the restaurant it's going to be at, but I kind of want, if me and her can get pictures on the, on the side and then maybe like a couple of, if you're able to come to the restaurant and take a few pictures of her at the restaurant, da, 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 that's what I want to do. Okay, yeah, I could do that. Okay, well, what's the quote? What's the quote for one person? What's the quote for two people? And then is there an additional if we're going to be at two different locations? Like, just, I, I need to know how much I'm going to pay. I don't need a, you send me an invoice at the end for $500 and you holding my pictures. Like, I'm, no. So anyways, um, as of last night at about 11 p.m., he just has not answered my question. And I'm just like, well, anyway. So, I just don't understand why 
questions don't get answered sometimes when a service is being done. Like, if I'm booking a hairstylist and it's my first time and I ask you, um, hey, should I come with my hair already washed or do you wash hair there? That's, that's a question, getting my hair done. Do you want me to come with my hair braided or do you do the braids? Do you want me to come with my hair washed and dried and blowed out or can I just come because I'm natural? Like my hair is kinky, curly, and thick. Like, whoa. And for y'all to just, I don't know. Things that make you go, hmm. But anyways, y'all, I am wasting time. So I was just saying that to say I wanted to go to the mall to see if I can find something else to add to her gift because the photographer is looking like it's not gonna happen. Cause like I said, it's 2.15 already. And as of last night, you stopped communication when I asked you a quote again for the second time. such a uh, cute little lounge outfit. We're at Target, FYI. Ethan says he needed to buy something. So these little shorts, this, I just, almost $40. $20 for the bottoms, 14 for the top, and then plus tax. So it's something I wanted to get from like the next trip to like lounge around the Airbnb, you know? So I don't know. I think it's gonna have to stay here though. What? Native conditioner Girl Scout cookie set? It smells good. All the Black History Month clothing is 70% off. This is cute. Good prices. Real good prices, man. I don't need nothing. Y'all do not understand why I'm so low energy today. Like, I'm so tired. Like, I feel like I need a nap. And I just don't understand because I didn't do nothing strenuous today. And I ain't been up for that long. It's only 5.20. And I'm tired. I don't know. But anyway, I'm about to make me a drink. This is the new uh, Zero Sugar one. The one I tried on camera last time was the elderflower. This one is cucumber lime. Smells good. I said thank you. My sparkling water, which is zero everything, guilt free. And then I'm using the same skinny mixers, elderflower and lemon, and then the strawberry grenadine. I don't know if this is going to wake me up or not, but I just, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Our time in Target ran over. I wanted to start getting ready at 5 o'clock. Like I said, it is, it's 5.20 right now. Oh, let me show y'all what I got from Target. Nothing major. Cute little tank top. I thought this was real cute. It was only $8. It's from A New Day. And then I got a new nude bra. I like this shade of nude because all of my nude bras are like that white, almost sandy color. Like it ain't my nude. It's other people nude, not mine. This one is a nude for me. Look at that. That is a perfect color. This one is a nude for me. Uh, they were 20% off. It's by Outen. Yeah, and it's mesh, and I like this. Hopefully, it fits good. I ain't tried on, but it's my size, so it should. Now, I'm about to go tackle this task I have of getting ready and what I'm going to wear. I wish I did like Jennifer.
booked a hair and makeup appointment. So all she has to do after all her appointments is go home and throw her outfit on. But when I did talk to her earlier, she ain't had no outfit for today. She said she ain't look for nothing. She said, but she did pick out a lot of options for tomorrow. I'm like, girl, you need to be worried about the dinner. Not about Sunday fun day, okay? That's easy. You got to put your, your, your shit on tonight for your birthday dinner. You, you wear that shit, okay? Of course, even though I am behind schedule, here we are. Just put a mask on my face. It's a moisturizing mask from Origins. And I'm about to put nails on. <laughs> I might be slightly late. It's okay. It's a three hour long dinner. You know, we're gonna make it work. And I am doing big girl nails, a little bit longer than what I'm used to, but they're not like crazy long. Let me see. Yeah, they're not crazy long. That's how long they are. That's a little shorty doo-wop to a lot of people. I do have both my outfits on the bed that I'm going to wear. Like I said, I picked out three, but I only put two on the bed because I think those are going to be my true options. Yeah, when I do my um, nails, I file my real nail just to kind of get it like jagged. And then I'll try to file the inside of the fake nail if I can. The emery board that I had that would fit inside of these nails... I just threw it away like probably like a few weeks ago. So I don't know if this one's gonna fit on the inside. But even with me doing this to my nails, it's gonna help it last longer. Y'all always be sending me like nail glue that y'all see that lasts like a month, two months. I don't want that type of nail glue. I like to be able to take my nails off when I'm ready to. I don't need my nails to last no three weeks, a month, no. The longest I need my nails to last is seven days. And even then, I'll be ready to take them off. These, I'm going to be ready to switch these out before the trip next week. So, okay. Okay, I'm going to show y'all how they look when they're done. They're giving Emilio Pucci vibes, kind of. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Maybe I should have saved these for the trip. These are pretty. These are really pretty. Oh, okay, baby. I might need to go. When I get these from TJ Maxx. I feel like TJ Maxx, it just has a little red $4 dollar clearance stick on here. I feel like TJ Maxx. Oh my goodness, these are so pretty and summery. y'all this is the outfit this is a target bra a mesh shirt that i got from aliexpress and you can tell because baby yeah the sleeves do not come long at all then these are some boot cut or straight leg leather pants that i got from pretty little thing this is my little five dollar choker from fashion nova get it on I wish they had it in gold they might do have it in gold maybe the gold with on clearance when I shop I go straight to the clearance section especially for fast fashion stuff that's not gonna last long and stuff you're not gonna get a lot of wears out of oh yeah straight to the clearance section these nails won't let me be great this is why I ain't wearing nails did I get it I don't even know if I got it. Yeah, I got it. Okay. I would actually like it to sit up more like this. So I need to tighten it. Oh! Child, that really ain't even do nothing. But whatever. This is cute. Okay, I need some thick silver bracelets. 
Just show y'all the look. So I'm wearing my silver Givenchy bag. This is a hat I got. This is a hat I got from Amazon. It was like 20 bucks. It reminds me of like Pam Anderson in the 90s. I think like Pam Anderson, Steven Tyler, like those um, 90s rock stars used to wear hats like this. And then I have some Zara shoes that are this same color I need to put on. I was thinking about wearing some boots, but I don't know, I might. And I do have a black and royal blue jacket that I might put on. I don't know, let me see. Let me get all my accessories on, my rings, everything, then I'll be back. This is my bracelet container. I'm looking for silver, but as you guys can see, pretty much everything is gold. So I'm gonna have to dig. Here's a silver. Oh, these are earrings. These are not even supposed to be in here. These are earrings. That's not supposed to be in. This is all bracelets. What the hell? Gold. See, everything I'm picking up is gold. Okay, so I found two silver so far. This is... Why don't I have any silver chunky bracelets? They all thin. They're either thin or chain. That's crazy. I feel like I might have one upstairs. Can I just slide it on without opening it up? Let's see. <laughs> Probably not. I'll be thinking my hands are smaller than what they really are. Oh, wait a minute. We might got action. Damn it. Okay. We got on three chain bracelets. I need to diversify my silver bracelet selection because this is crazy that I only have chain or only dainty. That's it. I need to go upstairs. I need to go upstairs because I have a feeling a lot of that jewelry that I would pack on my vacations, I would go upstairs and take it out and put it in those jewelry bins. I know I have like silver bangles. Like I, I can't, I, I can't say I don't because I know I do. You should light on your friend. Okay, hold on. Y'all getting to my friend with the money green on. Money green. You, you got the steppers and the steppers. Okay. The Alexander Wangin. We Wangin tonight. We, she Wangin. Not chicken wine. <laughs> Alexander Wangin. Alexander Wangin. <laughs> Hair laid, makeup laid, period. This is 41. Bring it in. <laughs> Bring it in 41 big. Yes. yes. What the fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> and then my girl Drea and Poe. Hey, hey besties. <laughs> Me. Matching with the background, y'all. Look at me. That's a, a DJ? They have different music. Oh, that's cute. That is cute. Oh, okay. Y'all Tanya made it. Oh, hi, hi. Y'all love her. Say hey to Tanya. Hey. Mm -hmm. And cousin Ty. With the Mugler. 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 <laughs> Not Mugler. 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 <laughs> it, it got a sound expense. It, it got a, right. Yeah. It's a little more like spicy tangy. Yeah. I'm going to eat one more and I'm, I'm not getting no more. That's good. I see how it's good for the table. <laughs> I know, but these, these so good you can eat the whole thing. <laughs> Table. Fried green beans, y'all. Right here. Which table? I got salmon skewers. I said I'm still gonna be hungry yeah, after. Look at it. That's a kid's I'm a meal. Okay, thank you. And yes, it looks like what I thought they looked like. Didn't ours have like lettuce and tomato on them last time? Yeah. Grilled nut fries. Edible. Yeah, they look like it. 
Go to that Saint Laurent store, but in Saks, they were like, We don't know how she gets them because we don't have them. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. She got that a personal shopper. Or she got the she new person, Chanel. She's a too. She's a she got a well, she works at Saks and um, she shows like on her story all kind of stuff. So I went in there, she posted on a Monday, I went on a Thursday. She wasn't at work, and they were like, I showed them the picture. They were like, We don't have these. I said, What well, Dolores posted them to, they were like, We don't know how Dolores gets them. Oh, I ain't stretch these knees out. They don't know about the pictures. Yeah. Or if not, we can get. Let me get behind right here. Yay! Okay, Tyson, text them to us. Yes. Do not post them without an edit. If you do not know how to edit, send it to me first. Yes. The what? I 
Oh, Mine is better so I can go back this way. Oh. She can come this way. Oh, this way. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, oh. <laughs> we definitely don't want to. Oh, shit. We definitely don't want to tear this up now. Oh, <laughs> don't. Am I still recording? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> when, when it went down like the Titanic, it's still recording. Y'all. Oh. Yeah. Well, good morning. Happy Sunday. I started, where's my volume? Actually, I need to pause this. I am watching Quiet On Set on the ID channel. Now, I know you guys have been seeing all of the controversy behind Dan Schneider and these child stars that came forward over his treatment of them while they were on all of these Nickelodeon shows that he produced or created. I don't know if he was producer or creator. I can't, I missed that part. But anyways, y'all know what broke everything. I think Drake Bell was the one who, um, it was like, he was like the person who broke the silence of everything. But anyways, y'all, I'm watching it. I'm on season one, episode one. I think there's only like three episodes. Anyway, this is crazy. Because this is our millennials, this is our generation of things that we used to watch. I I cannot believe it. I cannot, but I, I I cannot. Let me rewind it and just show you guys a little part. Uh oh, oh here we go. Right here. Look look at this. And of course, as kids, we don't realize this. He played the character Nose Boy, and he has noses glued to his superhero costume. Look at his costume. What does that look like? What does that look like? It's supposed to be a nose, but what does that look like? It's so many images and innuendos and things like that through all of these episodes that we watched as kids because all that, I loved all that as a kid. All that was me and Tina's shit, okay? And to go back and see all of these things that he had the kids doing is sick. It is sick. I... I <sighs> The foot things, all of the things with the feet. So clearly, y'all just gotta watch it. It's called Quiet On Set. It's on ID channel. I'm just appalled. I'm shocked. I don't, I got a smile on my face, but it's not funny, y'all. It's sick. How did this go to like the boardroom where everybody watched it? They would approve these shows so other adults had to have seen like oh, okay yeah that's great that's great yeah we can put it out we'll we'll let it go live no one i guess people were scared to be out of a job or something because even though he put the shows out like this was his brainchild, other people would have had to approve things like that like who made the costume I, mm, mm. Anyways, y'all, um, I got to start getting ready in a little bit. Um, I'm supposed to be meeting my cousins for lunch. And then we are winding down Jennifer's birthday weekend. So we are doing Sunday fun day today. I have a long, long, long day ahead of me. I will be bringing probably some Red Bulls in the car with me because it is a long, long day. Tomorrow um it's monday so i'm supposed to be meeting my cousins again tomorrow we'll see jennifer is doing her last birthday thing tomorrow which i was invited to but i don't know like it's at um it's like a happy hour type thing so i might go i just i'm drinking for four days straight because of course i'm gonna drink today so Friday, Saturday, Sunday drinking. I didn't drink a whole lot any of these days. I think the most I ever, I didn't even get tipsy. I think yesterday I had two drinks and a shot. And I think Friday I had 
one drink while I was getting ready, one drink at the place, and then a shot. It wasn't a lot. Like I did, like I said, I didn't even get tipsy this whole weekend, and I plan on doing the same way today, just drinking a little bit, just to be. I told you guys, I'm a social drinker. I don't drink at home. Only times I drink at home is when I'm getting ready, and usually I don't even finish my my drinks at home. Um, so. Anyways, yeah, drinking another day, I just don't know if I should do that. I am on a journey. I am on a weight loss journey, and I just think that, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. If I do drink, like I said, it ain't gonna be a lot. Yeah. Anyways, let me finish watching this episode, then I think I might do a little bit of editing, and then getting my life together. Yeah. His audience is kids as young as six. I'm allergic to asteroids. Look at this. Look at this. Joke in that sketch is effectively a shot joke. It's a shot joke for children. Yo. Yo. Oh, my God. Frankly, it was just uncomfortable. Y'all peep this. I'm screaming. I am screaming. Oh, citizens. So, Penelope Tate. Um, is a character that Dan created. My name is Penelope Taint. Yeah, I know. The name Penelope Taint. The taint is the part of the body that's between the penis and the anus. Is that skin there? That's the taint. Bro! Did you hear? Yo! What this word really means. He wanted us to keep that a secret. I remember someone from the oh. audience sitting with us and saying, oh. Y'all, my mind is blown. Y'all just don't understand. My mind is blown. Oh my God. Y'all know it is hard putting a scarf on your head by yourself. And it slides off when you try to do it by yourself. Press your head up against the wall and tie. And it's going to get on perfect every time. Oh, okay. Okay, y'all, this is the outfit. Your girl looks a little skinny. I'm looking a little, you know. A little slim thick okay no i'm just fine <laughs> but i can't tell i've lost weight but anyway um fashion nova jeans zara top chanel squaff and then let me show y'all the rest let me let me let me finish i just wanted to show you guys how to put on your scarf by yourself i've shown y'all this on vacation because y'all know i'm a scarf girl hat girl anything not to do my lace i'm gonna cover my head up okay Y'all, we're on episode three. They're talking to um, Drake Bell right now. Yeah, they're talking to him right now, and he's explaining what happened to him and his uh, dialogue coach. I'm about to be late to lunch because I can't stop watching this. Okay, y'all, this is the full look. Y'all already saw it pretty much, but I just put on my sneakers, my bag. Yeah, we Chanel from head to toe, literally. Y'all, his license plate says no kids. That is funny. Love yours.
the struggle, ugliness and the success. Hit my words. Put your hands up. We live, nigga. We live on Instagram. It was a bad day. The bad, the bad, the good one. The time. But I be goddamn if a nigga don't be trying So tell me mama please why you be drinking all the time Cause all the pain you brought you still linger in your mind Drink over here! Yeah! Love yours. No such thing. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. Love yours. No such thing as a life that's better than yours. No such thing. No such thing. Heart beating fast. Let a nigga know that he alive. Fake niggas, mad snakes, snakes in the grass. Let a nigga know that he arrived. Sleeping on your level, cause it's beauty in the struggle, nigga. It's beauty in the struggle, nigga. Yeah. It's beauty in the struggle, ugliness and the success. Hear my words and listen to my signal of distress. I grew up in the city and know sometimes we had less. Compared to some of my niggas down the block. Wait a minute. Miss Birthday Queen. I'm admiring. We admiring the cause. Because this is my bag. This is my birthday gift to myself. Woo! 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 Oh, cause you know this is aftermarket. Oh, okay. That one, it comes with the Mercedes on. Y'all, tonight was so fun. My teeth are like glowing. Ting. <laughs> that is funny. But y'all, Sunday fun day was so fun. Uh, y'all look at the Houston skyline, the city skyline. Look. In 1,000 feet, use the left two lanes to stay to the left. Then continue straight. Let me tell y'all where I messed up at. Okay, so I go out to eat with my cousins. I think I put that little clip in here. We ordered like five different appetizers i want to say and we just shared appetizers shared a dessert nobody ordered a meal and, and i was good i was cool with that i was like okay i'm good that just made my little hunger go away i'll eat later on in the night so we get to the second spot everybody ordering food and i'm like mm, i don't want food just yet everybody's like yeah, try a wing try some dip try this i'm like okay so i had two probably chips and dip one wing and I'm like, okay, so at the end of the night, I'm going to order some food. So when the end of the night come, the waitress ain't nowhere to be found. Like, so we get to the next spot, which is 5015. We're there thinking we're going to order some food. My alarm starts going off on my car. And I'm like, oh, God, is somebody breaking into my shit? Like, what's going on? So it's the people with the loud music rattling, rattling my car, making my alarm go off. It just happened three times. Uh, three times we in there all of 20 minutes and it's like okay i'm not about to sit around wait on food 
it was kind of whack in there. I'm just so over the club lounge scene. I'm just so over it. Unless I'm out of town, I'm just so over it. So I was ready to go. I'm like, y'all ready? They're like, we ready. So we left. We go to address. Okay, we get to address, of course. And it's like, before we go in, we all like, we stay here for an hour. And that's it. Jennifer got to work in the morning. Tanya got to work in the morning. Nakia got to work in the morning. The only people that don't got to work in the morning is me and Tina. Tina got a flight in the morning. I think Tina has an 8 a.m. flight, which means she got to be there at 7 a.m. I don't know how she going to wake up with me. She probably got to wake up at 6 a.m. Oh, Lord. But anyway, Tina got a flight in the morning. We the only two that ain't got to work, wake up and do nothing. I mean, tomorrow's Monday. I gotta take the kids to school. We'll take Ethan to school. I gotta take Ethan to school. Ashton is staying with her dad. I'm gonna come home, probably go back to sleep, and then wake up and edit. So, I mean, I gotta work, but it's not like I gotta be up at a certain time. I can sleep as long as I want to, pretty much. So, it's like, let's go. Anyways, I'm saying all that to say, bitch, I'm hungry. So, the last time I ate was some shared appetizers, which was. So, that's all I've had. And here it is, 2 a.m., and that was around 5 p.m. So, bitch, I is hungry. Bad. Down bad. Looks like either do I go home and eat my meal prep, which I'm probably not going to enjoy, or do I stop at the 24-hour Jack in the Box of 24-hour McDonald's? Which one? The 24-hour McDonald's, 24-hour Jack in the Box? I ain't really a fan of Jack in the Box, but I mean, I'll eat me a taco. I'll eat me some goddamn... What Jack in the Box got? Chicken sandwich? I don't really like their burgers. I don't like their fries. Their curly fries are cool. Oh, Lord. But y'all, once again, y'all wish your girl Jennifer, J. Karina, as y'all know her on social media, y'all wish her a happy birthday. Okay, exit left. Okay, I'm about to exit left. 